As a general rule, a pump only delivers a flow and not any pressure. Pressure is caused by resistance against the pump's flow. If the flow only encounters slight resistance, the pressure becomes low. One can say that pressure is a byproduct of the flow or a measurement of how much work the flow can do. When it comes to hydraulic pumps, one speaks of pumps with fixed displacement and pumps with variable displacement. Displacement refers to the fluid amount that is moved during a pump revolution or a pump cycle. Play the animation to see what is meant by displacement. Gear pump. A common type of pump with fixed displacement in a hydraulic system is the gear pump, with two gears with outer teeth enclosed in a pump housing. Play the film. The oil moves in teeth spaces along the houses and sides from inlet to outlet. Depending on the pump's design, it gives a pulsating flow. Gear pumps are characterized by that they are quite insensitive to impurities, can be run with thin flowing oil, have low price, have fixed displacement. For the rotor pump, a variant of the gear pump, the flow's pulsation becomes less distinct. Play the animation. As the rotor in this pump has one tooth less than the internal tooth ring, more than one tooth is never fully engaged with the ring at any one time. Therefore, the oil is not trapped in the same way in the gear engagement as in pumps with gears with outside teeth. The rotor gear pumps are characterized by that they are small and quite insensitive to impurities, can be run with thin flowing oil, give flow with small variations, have low price, have fixed displacement, and can generally work with slightly lower pressure than corresponding gear pumps. Balanced vein pumps have a cylindrical rotor with radial grooves where freely movable veins are placed. The rotor is placed in the centre of an oval pump housing, which has two inlet and outlet channels. One gets an even load of the rotor bearings. Therefore, this type of vein pump is called balanced. When the rotor works, the veins are thrown out against the pump housing's walls and brings oil along. Balanced vein pumps are characterized by that they are small and have relatively weak pulsation, must be run with comparatively thick oil, are relatively sensitive to impurities, have fixed displacement, can generally work with slightly higher pressure than gear pumps. The pump type is called axial piston pump since the pistons move back and forth in parallel with the drive shaft. The pump is built up of a pump housing where a rotating shaft drives around a cylinder drum with a number of cylinders and pistons. The pistons are connected with the drive shaft via a drive disc. The pumps are most often variable, which means that the piston's stroke and thus the pump's displacement. 
varies from minimum to maximum displacement. The axial piston pumps are characterized by that they have weak pulsating pressure, must be run with comparatively thick oil, are relatively sensitive to impurities, have fixed or variable displacement, and can generally work with slightly higher pressure than vane pumps.